All right, let's start practicing Norwegian. Question two. Hva heter du? This question means, what's your name? Jeg heter Anders. Excellent. But it looks like you use the Icelandic phrase, egg heter, instead of the Norwegian, jeg heter. No. In Norwegian, you would say, jeg heter Anders. I said that. In five steps, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to learn a language the fastest. Exactly like this. Can you say, hey, how are you in 10 different languages? Hola, como estas? Bonjour, comment ça va? Ciao. Come stay. Hello, wie geht es dir? Hola, como vai você? Niho, niho ma. Strastvite kakvi. Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? So there's five steps for you to utilize this in the best way possible. So let me show you step number one. Set a goal. We're gonna head right into ChatGPT and ask yourself, are you a beginner, intermediate, or advanced in the language you're learning? This is how we start our prompt. So we start off saying, I'm beginner level in language. For this video, imagine we're gonna learn Norwegian. The next part, can you set a language learning goal for me and a lesson plan? Click enter and it's gonna start writing the lesson plan. And the reason you really want to do this is because of chunking, essentially taking all of these things that you don't know, breaking it into tiny parts. Here you can see it has created a three month lesson plan for us. And it's saying to practice at least 30 minutes to an hour every day. And this will become more fun as you get better in the language. And as we continue through this video, step number two, we're going to leverage the 80 20 principle. In this context, it means that 20% of the words inside of the Norwegian language are said the most. And if you memorize those 20%, you're way more likely to know what's going on contextually. So what you need to do is to figure out the top 1000 words in that language, or we don't have to do anything. ChatGPT is going to do it. I'm going to prompt it. Can you give me the top 150 Norwegian words for each module with English translations in a list? So you will now see that it has good morning, good evening, please, thank you, how are you, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that, you have a great starting list. I believe you should expand it a little bit more as you're going through the weeks. But this data here is not going to help you at all unless you put it into a flashcard software that's called Anki. So copy the Norwegian one on the front and the English translation on the back. Just kidding, you're not going to do anything ChatGPT is going to do it. So we just copy everything here. Make sure to have advanced data analysis on. Paste it in here. Can you turn this data into an Anki file? And just like that, it's creating a TXT or a CSV. Just click here to download the file. If you're struggling to make content, this AI tool can help you. It's called contents.com and it can generate content 10 times faster. Just click on the start free trial. Now that I'm on the inside, I'm going to use the AI chat to get some good creative ideas. Here's the prompt. Pause the video if you want. I asked it for survival niche, best tents for winter camping, such a good SEO keyword, or even best water filters for emergency preparedness. This is really good. I'm going to do the best backpacks for extended hiking trips. The next step, I'm going to use the SEO article template, put my keyboard in there. Let's make it a thousand words and click on generate article. It just gave me the entire outline and I'm just going to click on confirm paragraphs and the entire article is written. Now we can click on AI art, click on text to image and we can generate some images for the article. Let's generate the image. We got this image and this beautiful image. Then we have AI translation into all these different languages so you can reach a bigger audience. So click the link in the description down below to check out content dot com to create content 10 times faster. Thank you so much to contents.com for sponsoring this section of the video. Just click here to download the file and import it in Anki. Step number three, natural conversations. Can you say hi in all of these languages? Certainly, here they are. Niho, namaste, salut, marhaban, hi, privet, hola, hello. That's pretty good. <laughs> Yo, I don't know why that was so funny, but as you can see, it's pretty capable. The reason why this is such a game changer is having a conversation with somebody in a different language that you're trying to learn is actually just hard logistically. 
trying to get on a phone with somebody, spending like an hour with you, or are you gonna do it every single week? That's when I learn a new language. I always love being in the city that I'm learning the language. So the prompt here, if you're a beginner, is very different than if you're advanced. If you're advanced, you can just say, hey, can we have a conversation in Norwegian? If you're a beginner, you can prompt like this using your lesson plan and your vocabulary. You can copy all of these over and you can see here in the listening speaking, we want to practice pronunciation of basic phrases. The prompt here being teach me Norwegian. Let's have a conversation where you teach me some basic phrases based around and then I just copy paste everything that was in week one. There is so many variables that you can prompt here. So let's just test it. So we're actually starting on the computer or just text generation. And then we will click the button. I'll show you in a second. We kind of want to prime it. So I'm going to say, okay, now teach me step by step. I'm a beginner in Norwegian. Ask me a question and I will respond. Send that message. Now I'm going to go on the iPad or your phone. I'll open the chat in the history and click on this button in the top right. I'll show you how to access it in the settings in a minute. So now I'll just push the button in the top right. All right, let's start practicing Norwegian. Fantastic. Let's continue practicing. I'll ask the question again. Question. Hey, what on Gordek? You can respond with bra if you're doing good or door leg if you're not doing so well. What's your answer? Bra. Great attempt. The correct spelling is bra, but you're very close. Bra means good in Norwegian. Now let's move on to the next question. Question two. Va heter du? This question means what's your name? You can respond with jeg heter your name. Jeg heter Anders. Slint, but it looks like you use the Icelandic phrase Egg hate deer instead of the Norwegian <laughs> jeg heter. Nope. In Norwegian, you would say jeg heter Anders. I said that. Another question. All right. Vinken dog at a dog. This question means what day is it today? You can respond with the day of the week, like day a mandag, or it's Monday. I dag er det manda. I dag er det mandag is the correct way to say it is Monday today in Norwegian. Would you like to continue with more questions or is there something specific you'd like to focus on? So that's just a quick sample. Just such a game changer. The only point I have is it's not that good of a Norwegian speaker. Actually, let me try to just speak uh, Norwegian to it. Hi, can you bare snakke norsk til meg? Kan vi ha en samtale på norsk? Selvfølgelig, vi kan snakke norsk. Hvordan har du i dag? Jeg har det bra. Kan du fortælle mig en liten historie på norsk? Her er en kort historie. Det var en gang en liten gutt som heter Ole. Han bodde i en liten by ved fjorden. Ole elsket å fiske. Og hver ettermiddag etter skolen. <laughs> yeah, when she speaks sentences, it's way better. And if you could get to the level of this, anybody could understand you. So how you get access to this is, I only have it on my iPad. Most I've seen online has it on their phone. One day I just clicked the settings and clicked on new features. And then they had voice conversations. And you can see here that I had voice conversations that I just toggled on. There's also five different voices that you can pick between. So you're following your lesson plan, you're doing the thousand words, you're having conversations with AI. Mm. Step number four is image capabilities. I can open my iPad right now, I can take a photo, and then I can ask it, what's this in Norwegian? I'm gonna click on send, here is the image, and here is the translation. The same goes with any mid-journey image, for example. I can take this image of a boat, paste it directly into ChatGPT, and we can prompt it, can you describe what is going on in this image in Norwegian? And this is so powerful because you obviously know what is going on in this image. It's a storm, it's a sailboat. So now, when you see the translation, you're like, oh, I know hav, which is sea, and ship, particularly good if you are practicing food for the week. Just go to Dolly 3, and you can prompt it, generate an image with, I can prompt it, generate an image with, and then have all of the food items that we have in Anki. And just like that, you got a bunch of images and visual cues. This helps your brain put an image to the word and the sound, which just reinforces the language even further. If you've done all of the last four steps, you should be pretty far ahead. But the last step to really take it to the next level is to stop speaking whatever your native language is and completely immerse yourself in the language you're learning. This goes beyond ChatGPT, as you will just listen to Norwegian music and watch Norwegian TV series. Stop hanging out with your friends, 
don't talk to your mom and dad, join a cult. So if you like this video, comment in your native language in the comments down below. I'd love to know where you're from. If you want to automate your work with AI, click my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and click this video next. All right, see you there. Peace.